Hi everyone, my name is Gianna and I was in commercial endorsements. So my name is Evan and over the past eight weeks I've been the intern in the TV scripted department. Sophomore year of high school, there was a couple of upperclassmen who told me about this career prep program and that's how I met Evan. She was in the fashion organization at Duke and I'm in the fashion organization at Yale. And I just thought, okay, maybe I'll just take a chance and email her and ask if we might look for housing together. But I took the chance and she seemed really nice. As you're in college in this tremendous phase of growth and development, you have this super vague idea of what you want your life to look like. I mean, I loved watching Entourage and just assume that's how the agency world worked. So I was expecting to walk in and like see an Ari Gold and have him yell at me like the mm -hmm. first day. <laughs> and it was not my experience at all. Like everyone at CA is amazing and super nice and they were all welcoming. So during my time here, I was able to create pitch lists. The brands like these will come to us and be like, hey, we need a client who meshes with our brand and our mission statement. Who do you guys have? So this is my first project where I was given this grid, which is in the CAA database, detailing the exclusive contracts between talent and studios. And I compared that to the same list, but as created by Variety. We do spend most of our time at work, and, and then we come home, and sometimes we just veg out on the couch. I think I really like the entertainment industry because I like the idea of projects. You finish something, you create something, and then you move on to create something else. That kind of trajectory is very unique to the entertainment business. And I think if I have to work a little bit harder to make sure I have that next project, I'm willing to do it because I just think it's more worth it in terms of what I'm looking for. It's so exciting to see that, like, what you're passionate about and see you actually pursue that. I think that's just a really great opportunity for us. And I think personally where I've kind of learned to target more is to remember that you have your own voice and that you have things to offer and that it's okay to share that with people. There's so many more stories that, that need to be told, whether it's talking about mental health or talking about abuse or violence in, in your family. People go through serious things, even at a young age, younger than, than I think we, we realize. Kids are ready for that. I think there is a market for it. Just think it means that it just hasn't been done. I just think it's been an awesome journey for you, and it's still only the beginning. Yes, oh, thank you. It has, you know, eight weeks is a short amount of time, but I feel like there has been a lot of growth. Through entertainment, you can be an activist, and I see myself placing people where I think they will shine, and that's what an agent does. So why not, you know, be that advocate for people of color, for people telling the less voiced stories? I hope that in 10 years, I have balance going into the workforce at this age. You dedicate yourself to your craft, and I don't mind prioritizing that, but I don't want to lose myself in it. I want to make sure that I spend time with friends and with family. I know the effect that I want to have. I know the change I want to make. I mean, the network that I've been able to make at the Academy Gold has like really comforted me. Like I know there are people like me who are looking out for me and also trying to do the same thing, so I don't feel alone in it. I just follow my gut, know my end goal is to affect change, I'll make it there.